That's a circumcision joke. Huh. I think we're all equally uncomfortable right now. Yeah, probably. But could they hear me talking about my penis? I mean... Oh, hey, Tyler, you came back just in time to talk about my penis. Do you have any thoughts on it? Do you think it looks Tyler, more like Ringo or Paul? <laughs> I look more like a Gene Simmons, kind of droopy. I think it looks like Ringo. You know, that chameleon movie? The one with you Johnny say Rambo? Depp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would really? Rambo. Johnny Depp. No, I said Rango. The one with the chameleon in the Hawaiian shirt. Django? The one with the penis. That'd be Django, and I'm not talking about Django. The one with Django. the penis, Ron. Yeah, no, not not Django. I'm talking about Rango. Hmm. I saw it twice in theaters. Rango is a cartoon movie, and it's trash. It's when he voice acts a, uh, a lizard. It's not trash. Yeah. You're shitting all over Rango. Considering that nobody here knows what it is. Obviously me. I, I don't want to know what it is. I've, I've seen it. Wade can I always be young, but looks like the Crypt Keeper. Hog, dude. Who looks like the Crypt Keeper? You look like someone famous. Hey. You look like the Crypt Keeper. I don't think you know what the Crypt Keeper looks like. Do you I'm even get your own Obviously reference? me. Do, do, you, do you get there? Like, Messi looks more like the Crypt Keeper. I know, you know who the I was... Crypt Keeper. Again, Scott, I'm not fucking young. I'm not super superstitious, yeah, but, but the, the last time someone like... said someone looked like the Crypt Keeper was uh, someone who was referring to Prince Harry. And... Uh, he died the next day. Yeah, uh, so. the king is. I'm dead. allowed Long to say it king. about myself. So, but not Prince Harry. His dad, whatever his name is. King is the Duke. Duke Philip. Yeah. Philip. King, That's Phil king Philip. <clears throat> so, we're in the scary. Hey, basement. that is what he looks like. Oh, never mind. He looks more like Mathis. Never mind. Wait, why did it green screen you out? He looks more like Mathis. Definitely. What do you mean? This is what I look like. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know why it did. Because when he at, when he added it, it immediately oh. just assumed that his auto the backdrop and his beard. Yeah, we're all the same <sighs> green screen or black screen in that case. Um, <clears throat> Prince Harry. <laughs> Not right. Prince Harry. So Rena, Prince. you are investigating Phil. further the scenario. Yeah. And um, and so you go over. You said specifically you wanted to go and investigate the jars, right? Oh, uh, yeah. So you go over to the jars, kind of look, grabbing pick one, one of them up, like looking at it, shaking it. Seems empty, of course. Mm -hmm. You go and you open the jar. Um, I guess so. It seems yeah. empty. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's empty. Uh, You go and you open the jar. Could you do me a favor and ask somebody in chat to roll a D100? Okay. Oh, um, uh, MS Becerra. Miss Becerra. Miss Becerra. Miss Bear. It's a self-identified hey, mom. The chocolate-covered pretzels have an expiration. Uh, I actually don't. No, I think that the chocolate protects it from rotting. Is that why you were asking? Are you the friend? You're the friend, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I tweeted that out you later. Did, you you, know, you didn't get tweets. that. I saw that. You, These don't have an expiration date on them. I've had them for like a year. But like chocolate, though. Your yeah, chocolate goes bad after like a little milk. bit. This is where we're going to get Wade whining stuff like later about I'm how I'm assuming that's I'm a bad for three days stuff. and I'm still alive. Maybe that's why your arm hurts so bad. Oh God, I got pretzelitis. Rena, I need from you and may the force be with you a constitution oh. save. Oh no. Okay. All right. There's our Wait, hell. I want to see what happens. You want me to take oh, the L again? Health. Yeah, you got, you got a shit ton of health. Come on, let's see what happens. Uh, fine, I guess I'll take the L. I take the L? Cool. <laughs> I guess. Rena, um, I, you open this thing and you go... We have a reroll. Why you, wouldn't you use it? You open I'm this trying thing, to save it for something. And else. as you open it, you actually see that even though the jar is empty, it materializes in this like strange greenish, almost like um like a bright kind of... Uh, uh, like Almost like a fluorescent green kind of color. Uh, it materializes. And then it kind of like rushes up and you're like... <gasps> as you like breathe it in accidentally really quickly. And you're like... Oh, and you just all of a sudden you feel strange. Like for a second, you're like your face feels a little itchy. But 
whatever. You just close the jar back up like, shit, what was that? And I imagine you turn to the party to say something to them, just to like tell them like what you just saw. I'd say, I'd probably say. So yeah. when you turn to say something to them, you don't say anything because you go. Oh my God, mm, Rena, what happened to you? Mm, mm. And yeah, that's what she looks like. The reason why you can't speak is because when you turn around to say something to them, they realize that you don't have a mouth. Oh, gross. It's just. That must be how she's keeping them quiet. In bear, can you undo the effects of that? It'll probably go away on its own. But I can try. He's like, hold on. Shink. Yes. Too bad I'm holding this pickle and I can't perform operate. Oh, wait, the pickle holster. That's for, of course. And then he gently places the pickle in the pickle holster so that he can cut open Rena's mouth. I'm Anyone so in chat think that was funny? Holder, that, that, was my, that was my callback. I, I no? thought I thought right. I thought that was a continuation of the circumcision joke. No. The okay, guys, the the pickle holster is not a circumcision joke. The pickle holster is for actual pickles. The circumcision jokes are for circumcision. Okay. Um, I can try remove curse on her. See if that works. Oh yeah, I can do the spell. Probably should do it on myself too. We'll figure that out. There you go. So. Your your uh, all curses on one creature. Your touch all curses affecting one creature object. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's just instantaneous. You don't have to make a roll anymore. Nope. Gotta hate. But if it's crazy. a curse magic item, it just breaks attunement. I I, I it doesn't hate, actually fix it. Yeah, I I hate I hate five e. It's so blah. So um, you walk over there and you just ca simply cast one spell and go boop and there's no difficulty whatsoever. Everything just works perfectly for you because 5e is lame. Um, so anyways, you um, you walk over and you cast a spell on <clears throat> uh, on her and immediately as you do that, one of the things that you notice as you're getting closer to, uh, to uh, Atelia to cast a spell is, oh my gosh, she smells. She smells so bad. Like she absolutely fucking reeks. You don't know what that smell is. It seems Rina familiar for some reason. Uh, both. Um, actually, Pat, you've actually sniffed Rena. How does she smell? <laughs> That's... Nope. Not, not a thing. <laughs> nope. Really? He keeps talking about it when you're not Can around. Creep? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Moving on. Just... I was hoping it'd be so like like oh, lilac like, berries. Yeah, all of a sudden he just started saying like various aromas. <laughs> What's the description of um lilac and elderberries? That's it. There's no. nothing good I could say there that wouldn't be very creepy and weird. So I'm just she gonna, smells like imposter. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore what Scott said. And just <laughs> so um you guys uh, uh so you go over there and one of the things that you notice as you get closer is that she absolutely reeks. Uh, you cast a spell, and immediately as you uh, you cast a spell, what happens is um, you can actually see that as soon as you cast a spell, all of a sudden she's like, Ugh! and the uh, almost like uh, that green color, as well as Rena, the blue color that you had seen earlier, both of those come off of you and immediately fly over to two other jars that look empty, but are separated from um, uh, the jar that you had just picked up a little bit ago. Um, it's actually close to the one that you had knocked off the table and, and uh, shattered. Mm. Um go over to there and they seem to just like kind of pass through the jar itself and into the jar and inside the jar they glow with their colors but over the course of the next like two minutes or so of rp or whatever's happening you see that those colors fade to clear so that you can't see them anymore well the jars aren't empty <laughs> you said yeah, a mouthful. again um I, I think this is how she's keeping people away and staying. Well, the jars aren't empty. <laughs> they look it. Mouthful. <laughs> that was uh, shut up, Wade. That was Mouthful. a really that was a really good one, Rena. <laughs> Just saying. We had a one. We were like Abbott and Costello with our one-two punch there. Were they comedians uh, or magicians? Yes. I stand by it. Magic comedians. You guys are Abbott and Costello are hip, right? Who's on first? <laughs> you guys watch the. Fuck you all. All right. 
Wow. Okay. Continue. Is there a way we can determine what's in the jars without putting ourselves at risk? Um, as Imber mentioned, it seems there's spells used on uh, whatever victims she keeps here, typically. Where does she keep them exactly? Because there has to be a way for her to get them down here without being noticed by everyone else around, unless they're all in on it. Hmm. Unless she's just bringing them in and they're never to be seen again, but that would raise suspicion with the rest of the uh, people here. Not if no one's looking for them. Well, wouldn't someone see her bring them in? They're just orphans. And where are they being kept before they're brought down here? Do I remember that? Wasn't it the church know. that we went to that they said they take in like children, but then uh, Lady Grundle like comes and visits them or something? Is that when we found that out? Mm hmm. Visits them often. Yeah, it didn't involve taking them at the time. Oops. Perhaps that's why she visits them often. Maybe she offers to help them in some way or rehome them. Hmm. Perhaps. Still feels like there's something missing here. Something doesn't add up. I suppose uh, finding her is the likely next step. Try to get the information from her. Would my, uh, I'm assuming the medallion would react a little bit differently, seeing as how I, like, made the, uh, potion or, like, the, um, concoction for it. You know what I mean? Well, the, that's only to make you find something that would otherwise not be detectable by the medallion, right? Because the medallion allows you to detect shape, shape, sorry, monsters or magic or whatever it is, but the right. concoction she did earlier would disguise that. That's to counter the disguising, so that doesn't do anything down here. But uh, to go on to what Wade's first line was when this RP started after your awesome line and Wade's terrible uh, tag, um, you kind of like grabbing up one of those jars um, uh, after he said it. Maybe Mouthful. even maybe even pick one up to to punctuate your line. Mouthful. I guess the jars aren't empty. Um, you go over and grabbing it. Mouthful. You're actually holding a little close to your chest. You're actually able to see that the jar that you had picked up, which is probably let's say you went over to where the two jars where uh, you saw the the kind of like light go to. You walk over there and grab one of the ones nearby it. You actually hold it, pick it up, and bring it over to your chest. It actually doesn't vibrate any further. Kind of checking your own memory, you reach over and grab one of the ones that say had the the um the mouth part to it, right? Mm -hmm. And you hold that closer to your chest to the medallion, you can actually feel that it is vibrating more, allowing you to differentiate between this one seems to be empty and this one seems to have something inside of it. That being said, on the how meticulously you would comb through the building. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if there was nothing else down here. I don't know. Cause and Derb said that it was the only room on the uh, map, so Yeah. It was actually a sub sub level. Well, double sub level. And Bear, do you have any idea what this uh what's a dub sub? Separate liquid would have been. It looked like it contained blood. No. Oh, you're pointing pointing out the liquid on the floor. All right. He just said it was watered down blood, right? What it looked like. Um, I guess I'll have a look at that as well. Sure. So it's old watered down blood. So you go, uh, mm -hmm. you um, uh, go over there and you check it out. So this is more of a uh, 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 in bear thing, honestly. But you can go ahead and, and check out the blood. Um, you well, can, he didn't know anything. Uh, he literally just uh, told me. You you can go over there first. I need you to roll me a um because uh, this is old so and so forth. First thing I need from you, Rena, is a medicine check with disadvantage. If you succeed. You then get to trigger a second um, uh, check for something else. I can't tell you what it is. Oh. Do you want to modify that or use your reroll finally? Um, we have eight. Just, just use the reroll. Just use the reroll. Okay. All right. 
I, mean, I can check it out. Can, oh, I it's okay, Ian Bear. You don't know anything. You, uh, your RP was really great with me there. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 I can I can check it. Like RP with a brick wall. Hey, Poggers, bro. Um, are you uh, are you going to uh, luck that? Mm, yeah, I am. It's actually no. This is good. The fifteen that you needed, you can actually tell that this is not. I mean, it, one of the things that you can tell about this blood is that it has like a strange smell to it that suggests to you. I mean, it's, I know it's old blood that's rotting down here. Luckily, you don't smell like stinky pinky anymore. So hey, um, I was so excited. Oh, that's what the smell. one was. Okay, yeah. got it. Um, but uh, either way, you could actually smell. You could actually tell by the, the smell, not really the texture or anything, because it's all been corrupted. But but the smell of it, that this does not seem like human blood. Whatever this is, it does not seem like just human blood why don't you go ahead and roll me a um uh monster lore check this is normal uh yeah you can roll normal i was trying to make stinky pinky stick around for a little bit longer but messy ruins all my fun oh why do i always roll, roll garbage on my monster lore <laughs> hey rita do you want to re-roll that one too i don't i have a re-roll for that no nobody loves you do you want to modify that in some other way like uh maybe a super luck die i don't have that i mean yeah, just I... gonna seems like it's watered down blood <laughs> not human <laughs> definitely Anything not else human we get from that 26 oh there's a baby tooth in it is this yours sir oh yeah so i was missing my baby tooth <laughs> and i was a baby <laughs> You know, years and years ago. Anything else I get from that, Scott, that I can assist here with? No, like, she already succeeded. Years ago? Earlier. Okay, just checking. If there's something else that maybe a... I mean, you needed a higher DC because, you know, you're just a doctor. Um, she already succeeded with her lower a DC because she's doctor. a witcher. So... Medical doctor. It's more of an embarrassing thing, but it's harder for Embarrassed because it's an embarrassing thing. It's actually more of a arena thing, but we know how she rolls. So Embarrassed would more likely succeed. Whatever was here last definitely wasn't human. He can confirm. I confirm. <laughs> right, your uh, ability to have an act. Let's uh, see if it's today, uh, hold, now, 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 now. Settle down, Derb. Let me oh. um, let me see if perhaps chance it is. Also magical. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thanks. Is it it's magical? Not magical? You detect it's magic. Not magical. You detect magic in the room. Similar to how she has her medallion kind of vibrating like crazy. You detect a lot of magic in the room. Well that tells us one thing. It's definitely real. Not an illusion. So some monster was definitely in here at some point and either, well, I guess was injured. Uh, how many jars total are there? Um, so going around, if you're trying to be a little bit more systematic with what it was we discussed beforehand, because the room itself um, has probably like 70 jars inside of it. Oh, but spending a degree of time looking about, one of the things that you notice is, remember how we mentioned those two uh, went to the other side of where you had, uh, uh, of, you, sorry, the one that you had opened up was from a separate counter from where, the one that you had knocked over and broken, right? So, and um, uh, the two curses, when they lifted, went over to the counter where you had knocked one over and broken it, right? So we talked about that earlier. When you go over there, you realize that even though there's a bunch of jars over there, they all seem to be empty with the exception of those two that you just saw get transported into those jars. When you go to the other side, the one where we had originally opened it and got the smell, um, all of those seem to be filled. So it seems like they must go into these empty jars and maybe she just moves them over here afterwards. She has some sort of system of organizing. That being said, the number of jars that actually have curses inside them is 13. Oh. So are these the curses then she removes? From people? Remember, Embarrass just arrived it beforehand as displaces. Hmm. Is it possible the curses she removes from items she stores to use in her 
work down here? It's likely. Whatever kind of work that is. There's not much left to find down here other than this. We know what she does and what how does she, she gets do paid with for the children afterward. That's to say if she really does take the children or not. We haven't exactly mm. found proof of that. No, but the way the shackles are suited to someone of a smaller stature, I guess it could be gnomes or something too. That's kind of uncomfortable. I guess in any case, all signs point to us having to find her and uh, hopefully get some answers out of her. Wherever she may be, we've spent quite a long time here. Jordan would speak up. Well, the uh, what I made earlier will help us locate her, so you should head out and start searching. I do not doubt your your magic, Witcher. We just don't know everything that Grundle can do. We know she removes curses, but we don't know her friends. Assuming the, the rest of the town is on her side in this. They do speak highly of her. True. It would be useful if, if uh, Imber had his memories back. He knows more about her than we do. Perhaps a couple of hard knocks to the head or something will snap him back too. I'm, I'm still here. I can hear you. Well, and perhaps you can weigh in on it. You are a doctor after all. Yeah, I don't think knocking my head around is going to help much. Uh, I'll go to like head back up out of up the stairs, out of the house. What time? Him. What time of uh, day is it? At oh, this I point? can tell you. It's raining. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Scott, give me weather and info. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's actually uh, 65 degrees, partly cloudy. There's a small wind Celsius. coming from the northeast, and it's uh, blowing at approximately 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 12 miles per hour. Anyways, um, uh, the time of day is approaching. Oh, it doesn't say time of day on that spell. I'm sorry. Uh, Rita, you go upstairs and look out the window real quick, and you're able to tell that um, uh, it's getting close to... Because when you came in here, it was um, uh, later in like, the day, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, What's it was it? after. Yeah, so it's actually you guys spent a considerable amount of time here. It's still just afternoon, because you guys oh. actually came here earlier in the day. Hmm. I think it's afternoon. You're just guessing. You have no idea. I do know. Doran will go walk outside and look up into the air. <laughs> yeah, it's about noon. <laughs> you said afternoon. We got here in the afternoon. Did we not? I don't she, think anything uh, you say late, right now. You don't remember anything. Late morning. <laughs> I don't remember getting here at all. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Because you actually spent the night at the, the the boy's house. And then you came over here. That's right. So actually, yeah. you did get here in the afternoon. So now it's going to be early evening. I think it's probably early evening. If she, you just uh, changed your answer. I, I think. Did. You changed it's your answer. Changed hey, though, hey, time changes. There. My answer changes. You forget. The sun just goes... Whoo. <laughs> it's like an it, animated we just see the yeah. sun like moving based on our description <laughs> so you see the thing where he does the whole like the whole world so Rena, go ahead that'd be, that'd be so trippy if she truly uh, doesn't remember then I suppose she could be going about her normal routine whatever that may be um, I imagine she might pay a visit then to where the other orphan children Did are usually taken in did she see, seem concerned at all with the state of her apothecary? It's not exactly um, well-maintained. Only in the way that she mentioned she needed to clean it up, according to Dorian. Yeah, well, I have apothecary. He is rank six-starred and fully ascended. <laughs> is <laughs> that a Raid Shadow Legends thing? I don't know. <laughs> As a reminder, uh, one of the things that Pat said was after you guys had left, so Rena made that comment and whatnot, but one of the things as a, as a reminder is Pat was saying that she seemed different 
like you guys kind of like yeeted out the door and then she just seemed to alter she seemed to change and he's like okay and then when he came back she was gone so there was that no one listens to the bard of course not he talks too no. much except yeah. for the npcs for some reason well yeah. 90, 90 20 is it all about they to all want to party it, and go can't. make some make some friends in higher places. I mean, we did talk to the queen without you, and it went pretty well. No accidents there. Um, you right? Which do you think maybe you could track her then? No, I can certainly try. Like I said, do you have a, like a wolf-like nose or something? <laughs> she shakes her head. There's not a lot of sniffing going on around here. Um, can I make like a survival check to see if I can like pick up like some Ooh. sort of not scent but like track or whatever? I don't really know, honestly. No, n n nothing from this. Nothing. No, no, no. no. Um, Derb, now that we're outside the apothecary, what does your map show? Oh, nice. Good question. All right, uh, let's move wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now that you're where outside? Outside, what does the map show? Nothing, it's blank. Oh, let's open for it. It's well, te oh, te te so cool. <laughs> technically speaking, <laughs> it shows the downstairs and the upstairs both fading away quickly. Hmm. Downstairs and main level, I should say, fading away quickly. Dang it. Perhaps if we went into another structure, maybe it only shows. There's I walk into the bar. No, there's a shop to the just behind uh, her. That's right. The bar is right, right across here. the street too, and they already know he's weird. So he walks into the bar okay. across the way, and as soon as you walk into the bar, you're looking at the thing, and you like walk in almost like a, a rude person reading the paper or, or a cell phone as they're walking in a, a, a business and not paying attention to everything around them. And um, as you go walking in, fucking millennials, um, you see uh, all of a sudden uh, much quicker than the uh, the structure seem to fade away on the map. This one just like kind of appears onto the map, it's just kind of like uh, not simultaneously drawing itself all across the map. So it's not like there's one scrawled image, and you're able to see that uh, there. So you watch the structures there, and you can see there's a front door, a back door, and a few windows, as well as uh, uh, stairs going down and stairs going up. We'll come back out. Well, I can see the bar on here as well, so it's not just limited to the one house, but maybe it's only man-made structures? There are we two more uh, structures just behind Grundles, if you wanted to take a look there. One, or both seemingly well, a shop, one a uh, cobbler, the other some sort of ow, fuck my knee. shop. Should we, um... Perhaps ask around at the same time if anyone's seen the um For some reason which... there being a cobbler next to Grundles if what we just found makes me a little uneasy. So yeah, I'll walk in there and take a look. The cobbler's the only uh, structure I didn't check. I already checked the other one and asked. Uh and the hmm. uh shopkeep said he hadn't seen her. The I will walk in is. either one or both of these structures and look at the map and see if anything looks funny. You go walking into the cobbler. And uh when you go walking into the cobbler's place, you see uh the door like creaks uh, nice and loudly as you're walking in, making it pretty obvious that you're going into the place. I would I would probably go with Derb. If Derb's just going to go by himself, I would, I would probably accompany Derb. Oh, yeah, we're all kind of grouped up. Are we all going? Mm -hmm. Dude, your cat's okay. so fast. My cats are yeah, fat. Don't get up she's that, got, that quick. She's got the zoomies right now. I got you. She's running up and down the hallway. Being Something little... about like late evening, like nighttime, they go oh, fucking 4 a.m., dude. She goes insane. Yeah. So you Ugh. mean when they would usually hunt small prey? Yeah, but my cats are fat and they vision. hunt each other and they're both fat and it's not small at all. It's because they're an outdoor creature that belongs in a fire, but for some reason is in an apartment. Well, I could burn them in an apartment fire. See, this is a great conversation, guys. We should move on immediately. Some outside Florida of the box, man. Florida man eats the face of a cat. Um, so you... Uh, I was asking for it. So you... Um, uh, go. My apologies. Uh, you just asked a question, then we got distracted. Went to the cobblers and opened the map. Went to the cobblers. So as soon as you went to the cobblers, everyone opening the map. The doors creaks, and you actually hear an old man uh, call over like, Oh, <gasps> hey, hello there. <laughs> Um, you've come in to have your shoes worked on, have you? And he makes his way over. <clears throat> Stand oh. back, cobbler. Who's among the four of us whose shoes are in the worst shape? 
Well, I mean, just the two of you went. I thought oh, okay. I remember. Oh, wrong. okay. Oh, just the two all of, of you. Oh, never mind. This. The group of four of you. He he looks and as he goes walking up, he kind of like standing there for a moment, oh, awkwardly. He goes, I, "If you're all getting service, I'd be willing to offer a small discount." Uh, certainly, Ooh. he says, looking at your feet. All of you could use a little bit of work. Oh, Watch it, old man. <laughs> Coming to check the place out. Um, he nods and says, uh, "You mean the, the caliber of services that I offer? Well, I can tell you that I'm the best cobbler you'll find north of the duchy, and and, and for a considerable while after that, I'm certainly the best one about for a, a many a many a mile or, or a kilometer, if you don't believe in freedom." And While he's grambling, as an old man might, I'm going to look at the map. Is there anything interesting popping up on the map? There's a front door. There's a back door. There's a few windows. There's a back room. You know, so on and so forth. But nothing interesting appears on the map. Turb will just give Dorian a look like I wasn't listening to anything the old man said. I was looking at the map. Kind of like a... This is your department. <laughs> Awesome. So come on over and have a seat, and I'll be more than happy to get a get a working on you. He'll probably look at everyone, and kind of like shake his head, like showing the map almost, like well, they they don't talk discreetly. To him. He's we'll trying to show leave. the map, so not to like <laughs> draw the old man's attention. But... I would probably ask him or try to talk to him, not like interrogate him, but like ask him, does he know anything about uh, you know, if if Lady Grundle would leave, you know, her house, where would she go? So he's just, uh, uh, he's like, come on over, come on over. And do you like say this as you're like walking over? Well, I would just say, yeah, I would, I would slowly approach him. Just be like, kind sir, we're, we're looking for a lady Grundle. She's well known in these parts. We've heard. She's oh, not yes, her yes. Cottage, so. Oh yeah. No, she's, she's pretty well known. Come, come have a seat. Let me get to work. There'll be more enough time to talk while there's work being done. Uh, it's Can work I... with the hands, not with the mouth, they say. And bye Dorian. He seems pretty, like, honest in what he's saying. He doesn't seem, like, very deceptive. You don't believe so? You think, you think he's trying to be, like, his deception here is, yeah, yeah, I've got information for you. Sit down, give me money to do work, and I'll talk to you, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we for three hours, we were in a basement trying to figure out where she is, and now this guy's, like, trying to defer us from other more stuff, so... I'm more of like, I want to, Dorian wants to find where she's at. So Dorian would probably just be like, no, we really must be on our way. We, it's a matter of urgency. I agree. There's a matter of urgency. The soles of most of your shoes are nearly worn out. So you're going to step on something sharp. And when you're howling, don't you go howling my name because it will be your fault. I suggest one last time you take a seat and allow me to do my work or... Well, you can kindly stop wasting my time. Dorian wouldn't even say anything. He would just turn around and leave. <laughs> and did I manage to pick up anything on my medallion or no? No. Okay. You leave. He turned to walk out and he goes, Dab. All right, to the other building. Um, okay, you guys go into the shop that Rena was in earlier, and so the bell in that shop goes off as you guys go walking in, and I believe it was a, a gentleman that was in the back of the building here as well, but a younger guy. He calls over and goes, oh, you're back. Are you here to buy stuff or just ask more questions? Derp takes a step back and makes sure Dorian's in front of him as he looks at the map. This is the same guy that we just left? No, uh, no this is the guy that I had seen before. Like we haven't talked We're to back. Him, but- it's yeah. a general store, yeah. Gotcha. I probably wouldn't say anything. I'd probably just lead, let you lead the conversation if you're already in there. We all step um, back, just leave Atelier up in front. I checked out the uh, the cobbler you mentioned earlier. Good for you. He didn't seem to know anything either about where Grundle went. It is quite urgent that we find her. Then perhaps you should get on it then. I was just wondering if anything had changed. It's been quite a while. It's a long few hours, you know. One might say that uh, someone's time was being wasted. Sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but um, you seem perceptive. 
Are you, um, ever see anything weird coming in or out of Grundle's home? Not, you know, out of the ordinary for her, I assume, but, uh, anything that might make you think twice? I certainly think the most weird thing that comes out, in or out of that building would be Grundle herself, but if you're saying something beyond that, I'm... Uh, sorry, friends, but I well, don't... Well, let's, let's hold on to that for a moment. So, so you obviously dis distrust Lady Grundle. Um, oh, is it that obvious? Is it something she does in the shop or something she does out of it? Um, uh, Where are the children? <laughs> he he, he kind of eyes you and says, I think I'll be playing with you. I don't know you. Fair. And you're Dorian would probably Dorian would probably step up at this point, and uh, <laughs> almost just intimidate him, as like we can get nice and cozy. Uh, the bard. I'll I love the intimidating bard. <laughs> we have a witch here, but the bard's the one that steps up like power cord. I got a guitar. <laughs> oh, he can do something. Don't make me now. loot you. <laughs> Uh, Dorian would probably just take out his knife and hold it behind his back. You know, kind of like, yeah, well, put visibly showing it and just kind of like putting it behind his back, showing, and he's like, we can get nice and cozy and we can be friends. Just straight up trying to intimidate him, though. Guys, why don't you go ahead and roll your, uh, your intimidation check? Is that the uh, one you take a higher number on? Or is that persuasion? That's uh, persuasion deception. and deception. Can I unsettling words this? No, because it's not a saving throw. Gotcha. What's this store again? It's a wow. general store. Wow, he goes, he's, so you say, he's like, all right, fine, fine. Listen, jeez, I don't know any of you, but I don't want trouble either. Oh, jeez, coming in here and threatening somebody for just trying to defend their, their neighbors. Uh, listen, I don't Threatening. Know. We have yet to threaten. I can threaten if you would like. Okay, okay. Dorian, even moving a little closer. <laughs> and Bear picking up the tone, he's like, oh, is this what they're like? Huh. Locks the door. Click. <laughs> Breaks a bottle. Jeez, look at the time. I've got to find another party. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny if Bear was like, well, because he doesn't know them. He just assumes he's like, oh, fireball. <laughs> is this not what we do here? I don't know fireball. Here? I He's like fireball. What are you is this not about? what we do here? You don't know that you don't know fireball, though. <laughs> That's true. Maybe wrong, you'll wrong snap universe, out of this, Scott. and you'll. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, no, we do. Uh -huh. oh, okay, well, we'll do that here. Okay. The other, no, here. other, other universe. Okay. Um. So, anyways, you uh, uh you kind of do this intimidating nature. Would have done He's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lady Grundle, she's a bit weird, and she has people coming and going throughout various hours, late after her shop closes. But I never ask anything about it. And, um, she's always home? I mean... I, I don't track her movements, but she does live in the place that she works, so I would say more often than not, I, I suppose. But you said that she made you uncomfortable and you weren't really a fan of her, right? I Wouldn't didn't say I wasn't believe? a fan of her, but yeah, she's a bit strange, but you grow used to her. And... So do you have see you her around any, town uh, a lot, or? Have you noticed any children around? You asked me if I see her around town when her <laughs> shop is adjacent to mine. Yes, I see her pretty often. Mm. What about mm, children? The children question, yeah. Uh, children? What about them? Uh, we were looking into the possibility that uh, some... Orphan children may be going missing around here, and we have some reason to believe that either Lady Grundle might be involved or might. Know In the something. name of all the heavens and hells, I don't think Lady Grundle would get involved with missing children. But for the sake of, I suppose, clearing her name, he looks at the three of you, the four of you, with a bit of disgust and actually more concern towards uh, 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 Dorian. He's, well, I have seen her with children recently, but they were not well children. They were a bit sickly. Uh, children that came from the orphanage, probably not well enough cared for mm. because of how many are there with this, uh, not the orphanage with the church or whatever. Uh, not well enough cared for for how many are, are, are there. She's brought them there, cared for them, and returned them as far as I know feeling well. 
Hmm. Did I go Thank tracking you. this? Certainly not. But why don't you know go to see go for next it yourself? Team, if you wanna. Perhaps if you had, that'd be less missing children. He, he gives you a look. He's like, um, you're you're a bastard, uh, you half a man. He's like, no. As he, he says, you're a bastard. I'm just gonna like, <clears throat> and like start scraping my knife on like the counter or something in front of him. <laughs> he just takes. Serb should reach up and just take like the sword out of Italia's back. Speaking of bastard, I can make a mean bastard sword. You can't take it out. They, you can't reach the hilt. I was gonna say you can't. Re he jumps on the table. He jumps on the table, brandishes my sword. How high can I jump? Anyway. Oh, oh okay. no! Oh, so I don't know if you guys, you sword. guys, you don't have to roll that. This is five e. How tall is your character? Yeah. No, not How tall is your character, Wade? Uh, yeah, let's not do this. Let's not do this. It's Four so feet. annoying. Four feet? And what's your, what's, your uh, what's your strength score? What's your strength score? Eight. Uh, eight? So if your character is four feet tall and your uh, strength is eight, you can probably jump about 50 feet in the air because 5e sucks. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> thank you. No, not even exaggerate. If your character is about six inches taller, you can literally dunk a basketball. So just to be clear. I um, believe thank, thank I you. can fly. Thank you for your time. And um, actually, like Yoda. you don't um, you don't have any any uh, uh, water skins, do you? Um, he uh, looks at you like he doesn't want to answer. Then looks at Embear, who rolled a twenty-five. Then looks at Embarrated? you again. And, Dorian, whoever Dorian. his name is. Hi. And then looks back, looks back at you, and and points at a shelf off to the side. And you can actually oh. find several water oh, skins yeah. over there. Right, I'll take one. Okay. And um, how much is it? Um, he he uh, opens his mouth, closes it, thinks for a moment, and says, um, "On the house." What's what's less than a? Is it? I'm sorry about the pricing. Which one's the SP again? Uh that's the farthings. Farthings, and then that oh, no. fifty of those is, is a yeah, mark. Far, farthings word, right? Mark is, yeah, the mark is a heavy one. Florence. Florence, 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 Florence. Florence. Oh, Florence. Seth Seth farlings. 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 And CP's Florence. younglings? Florence. Mm -hmm. Florence. Okay. Florence, marks, uh, and crowns. Yep. There's no, like, price, Pennies? like, sticker price or anything, no. is there? No. Okay, I'll just put down five of the Florence. That's, like, like, way up. overpay. The like, cool. one. I have enough. Bye. Okay. Thanks for the info. And the water skin and i'm gonna leave now okay but are you so yes, i'm outside so, now so you walk out and you're still outnumbered three to one with somebody that has does he have a gwent of... card does he have any gwent cards what are you gonna steal from him no if, i'm gonna purchase oh, actually, them actually, you know if you go up by the counter and you like look at the wall right next to the counter there's like a shelf of quick grabs that are right there but the yeah. gwent cards are freshly out oh the new pack Can you check the back the new, the, uh, he, he actually, he says that the other kids came in earlier and asked, and, and there's no more. Ah, you know what? Fuck yeah. them, kids. Let's go. <laughs> hey, he goes, well then, Zip. What's the matter with you, Messi? So anyways, you, um, there's no Gwent cards there. And you uh, are going to go back to the uh, orphanage. Well, I mean, if the, if the kids bought all the cards and we don't need to go help the kids, we, you know. Less competition for the Gwent decks, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Wade, stop. Wade! That's one of the one of the jars that he found. No evil, no evil. No evil. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta Terrifying. remove curse on Wade. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, uh, you, no. Too much, too much. Curse him, curse Look him. Look at my ears, don't curse my headphones. I so curse cur you with 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 a beard in oh. non corporeal ears. I curse it to balding. <laughs> balding. Uh. Not again. I guess we'd all leave. I don't know. We're gonna hang out here. Yeah, yeah. Bye. To thank orphanage. you to the orphanage. Okay. Bye. He says, uh, "What is this? Where am I? I'm um, gonna have trouble ex explaining this stream." <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um. All right, so you um you guys do uh, uh go heading out. Where do you head, or what do you say to each other as you're walking out the door? Thank God we finally left Lady Lady Grendel's place. Lady Araville. Yeah. <laughs> Other universe. Um, 
I suppose the, the right. orphanage is the next uh, place for us to check. Hi, do you have any orphans here? Yeah, can I see them? I just want to hang out with them. <laughs> That's what Grundle said. And now we're missing like seven children, so. The kids oh, were, the, no, the kids disappeared for the other reason. Like they mm -hmm. already told you why those children are missing. Oh, the other reason, which was. Which was. <laughs> Because they got sick, Rena. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. Wait, check, mm -hmm. check your check your notes. They got COVID twenty. Take notes. COVID twenty one now. It's it's a, it's a hot new thing. Ew. Yeah. Don't you no? Don't do that. It's scary. Okay, we go to the orphanage. Okay. Um, How long of a travel is it? Uh, Two days. Enough, close to where the other. So it's again half a day. You're heading back to where it was that you spent last night. Hey. hey. Or close enough to it, right? So actually traveling about, so now it's like you travel into nightfall and when you finally arrive at the location, it's going to be uh, dark out. Uh, but because you are traveling in an area that's not the safest and um, uh, that, you know, it is now nightfall, you have heard before that there are um, creatures in the area. Um, why don't you guys choose somebody in chat to roll a D100? Rena, you choose. You're the witcher. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess Gale Forge. <laughs> Gale Forge exclamation point D one zero zero. New to the chaos. <laughs> yep. Yep. I actually am not familiar with the name, so if they are new here, well then. Yeah, uh Nicholas, if they're not here, uh you can roll it, but let's see if they're here first. Or yeah, let's see if they're here first. We'll give them like ten seconds. Oh, there they are. Hey. hey! That was a great roll, Gail. That, that was means a... it's a okay, so we like high numbers. That's bad. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Gail, that was wonderful. Awesome. Hey, um, since you rolled that, hey, Nicholas, you want to want to go ahead and roll me a, a, a D6? And while we're here, uh, Ratch Par, we roll me a D6 as well. well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I, ho I hope. What? Wise one. That wasn't very so. wise. We're, we're just going to die. I, so. I can feel it. If there's no D6, I I'll, I'll have them uh, uh, roll 3D4 instead. In which case, wise one, you, you can roll a 3D4 I just don't know if we've well enabled there's... anything other than D20s and D100. Yeah. Maybe. I'm almost positive I have, but... Yeah. Oh, you want me to try D6 real quick? Go ahead. Oh, there you yes. go. Nope. Oh, is D4? Is D4 there? Okay, I'll try D4. Nope. You can do wow, roll for hot. like That's I said D4. that we only enabled D20s and D100s. It's crazy. Well, Wait, then. well it's, I'm, I'm confusing it with my oh. other channel, you know? Hey, why don't you guys, no go ahead, here, why don't you guys go ahead and roll me D10s instead? That'll be more fun. D10 minus 5? Yeah, chat, roll those D10s that you have enabled. Boom. Ooh. You just oh. enabled those, didn't you? No. My, my hands are right here. So, uh, except Vigno uh, is uh, is is not one of the people that were, so. We have to wait for Ratch and uh, Nicholas to roll the D10. That, that's 100, Nicholas. You got to roll a 10. Yeah, so so you see um, it's like a, a it's it's like one less zero than that. Yeah, you have an extra zero there, it looks like. Yeah, or at least put a space between the two zeros. That, that could help as well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It might help. We, we don't on? know. Nicholas and who else? It was supposed to be Nicholas and Ratch. You say like Ratch. <laughs> well, it's definitely Rach. There, it's, there's it's a D4. You got four. It's Rach. For Nicholas, you missed it because someone else did. Yeah, because right, right his ratch so went right before you. You got to do it again, Nicholas. Didn't roll. You did a great job. You used to do the same thing again. Hey, it's ratch! Like, uh, up it's arrow ratch, enter. right? You're doing a great job. Oh, no, you're good, Nicholas. We just need you to, we just need you to roll another. There you go. A oh, five. We got there, team. So while you guys are making your way along, um, uh, Rena, you can go ahead and uh, uh, feel your um, medallion starting to vibrate. Fun. Okay. You feel it vibrating despite the fact that you don't see anything within 30 feet of you as you're traveling along. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll me a perception check? Okay. You do, however, realize that the ground beneath you seems to uh, uh, have a bit of a... Vi it's like one of those things where as this is happening, as you're feeling the vibrations, you kind of like shift yourself on your saddle a bit because you guys have your horses. You know, hold on to the horn because we're uh, uh, classy here. We ride Western. Um, and you like lean down, like low, steep uh, down, down 
on your horse, uh, placing your hands, kind of like your fingers on the ground as you're riding. And you actually feel underneath your fingertips that the ground itself seems to be vibrating. And you come to the very swift realization that the reason you're able to feel the vibrations, despite the fact that you can't see any creatures about, and those vibrations, that there are, what are they called? Drowners. No, that's the other one. What are they called? Earthers. No, um, no, 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 no. Right! Drummer! No, 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 they're, um... Pat, help, me Dragons. Pat, help me I have the other undead creature Horses. That, that, that borrows in the ground. Republicans! I'm kidding. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they, 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 they do photo ops by the border, but, you know. Trees, Republicans are underground. Aren't they, like, corpse eaters or something like that? What the hell are they call it? Because of the N. Foglets. Ghouls. No, because of the N. Ugh, is... Necker like ne neckers. Good vibrations. Ne ne oh, neckers? The yeah, 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 yeah. Neckers. Really? Yes. That's actually a creature, yes. Uh, not a fan of that N -E -K -K -E -R. name. N-E-K-K-E-R. Remember, it's not based off of English. Yeah. This is based They're off of Polish. Polish, Polish words. <laughs> Just h go hard on the K. Okay, like, like, oh, really is going to really, Wade has a really thick neck -er. Can okay? we call them earthers neck. instead? Unfortunately, that would just be confusing. So just go hard neck. on, go hard on the Ks. Yep. And we'll, we'll, we'll get through this together, team. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. All right, cool. Um, awesome. So you read it. You uh, feel that, and you come to the quick realization that the ground is definitely vibrating with a whole bunch of uh, uh, neckers being down there. So you want to, um, uh, and based off the vibrations, for what you can understand, these are probably not just the little ones either. These are probably the warriors. They're probably out on the hunt. That being said, you're probably going to want to uh, make two one of two decisions: one, prepare, or two, flee. Unless you have some other brilliant idea. Uh, we need to like eat out of here. How yeah. many? I'll just. The I don't know how they, many there are. They, I think they flock in packs. Well. Didn't in bear prepare fireball for this just in case? Oh my god! But um, that's auto, meta knowledge. I don't. I don't auto mod what. modded rosin for correctly spelling the word. God damn it, Witcher! What? <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. Keep going. <laughs> what what are they called in um what are they called in Valheim? The water ones, the water lizards, the geckos. The yeah, what are necks, they called? Aren't they? They're necks. They're I think necks. they're just yeah. necks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just call these necks. That's they a do big have, brain they do play. Have, they do big have brain play. big like like big Necks is a great term. I mean, you're welcome Thank to call you. them Nex as a nickname. That's perfectly fine. I will still occasionally say the correct name for clarity, but <laughs> call them Nex as the as they go you to. You keep playing with Not fire. Sees his Twitch career. He's just like Whoa. burn it down. Well, it is very obvious that we're playing Witcher and referencing a Witcher character or monster. Burn it, burn. And I am already super clear that when we were talking about Witcher ingredients or the potions, I distinctly pronounce one of them. Um, with an accent to avoid the correct pronunciation on it. Okay. Moving on. Um, I'm you just, sorry. Deciding what to do. Yeah. What do you want to do, Reese? The whole world's in your hands. Didn't I get? Guys, it's after oh, twelve thirty. Did get we another turned sign. into a pup, uh, sorry planet. <laughs> Good luck putting a slipper on this. I don't need to slip on. I slip in. No. I need to slip out of this conversation. Uh. Dobby doesn't want Master's sock. <laughs> it's crusty. It has something inside. Did you say sock or cough? <laughs> Kithane wants a plumpkin. <sighs> I'm assuming that just... Nobody guess. Um, okay. I'll p I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't know what it is either, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna use Yurden. It's actually a blumpkin, then... but that's okay. Yurden, yep. And then I'm going. Problem. To tell everybody to eat. Uh, Witcher, what do you mean by yeet? 
Well, it, uh, where I'm from, it means <laughs> to leave, <laughs> to flee, escape. Oh, I see. Can we see them? Or is this just, just... A... <laughs> They're all underground. Um, oh. The cartoon sound them effect. The next. So, so Rena, why don't you? So, you're going to do Yurden and uh, flee out of there. I imagine you're going to do the full casting of it. So, why don't we actually bring this into RP? So, yeah. the, you guys riding, I, I imagine as you guys ride, there's like a, 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 the Witcher probably rides first, right? That way she can kind of like see whatever's going on. So, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, as you guys are riding along, you're just doing like a simple trot. Um, uh, you can actually see that the Witcher, uh, probably you see like from behind for whoever's pa paying attention with their passive being high enough, or whatever. It's up to you to whether or not your character notices. She reaches up with her free hand and grabs onto, um, it kind of like does this from behind. And then you see her kind of like change her, uh, uh, her grip of the saddle and she kind of like drops down. And we're talking like she has to get her like a leg. Cause if you're thinking about reaching down and touching the ground when you're on a horse, you mean like you're going like this, you know, like you're going, you're going down. Um, and uh, she's dressed, rubbing her fingers along the ground. And as she like quickly pulls herself up, Rena will pull it to you. And everybody, of course, notice that part. We'll pull it to, to, uh, to you. What does your character say and do? Uh, I don't know. Because you said they're probably... I don't, okay, sorry. I had to pull up their thing on the, the book because I didn't know what these were. Um, didn't you play Witcher? No. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> not yet. I'm going Just to Google N E K K. I already. I, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. We need to go now. Below us, there's uh, these things called uh, neck, the necks. <laughs> I'm gonna call them the necks because <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> That's in her urgency. I probably Dorian probably wouldn't waste any time, and it would just immediately turn around. Or it follow follow wherever Italia would go. Uh, yeah, it might be smarter to just turn back towards the the town for now because we can always go back in the morning. Uh, roll me so. a, a monster lore check. Because this is all already like you're well into your ride because night has already fallen. Wow, you actually get a really good roll on this one. Kudos, Rena. You actually know that these creatures are quick, like quicker than the average person by and far. Okay, that being said, by and far, well, quicker than the average person. Uh, when they're borrowing, they can also move about as quickly as a normal person can, just borrowing. So the guys just simply riding on your horses, they absolutely can ambush you. But the fact that you were able to detect them in advance, realize who they were with your good rolls, you don't necessarily have to turn around and go back. There might be even more back there because you triggered them while you were back mm. there walking this way and they started chasing after you. That being said, you could in theory, again, you could stop and fight if you want, or you can ka and like, just go, just yeet. Yeah, well, I was gonna do that, but then like, as it, you know, as we're all kind of getting away, I was gonna cast Yurden behind me. Yep, and this is, you're entirely welcome to do that. I do want to point out one more thing about these creatures. Um, um, they do have claw hands, mm -hmm. so maybe there's a relation. Claw hands? No. Claw hands. You know them? Face. You know them? <laughs> I'm just content now. I can see. You look good. Rena? I just said I'm casting Yurden and we're leaving. Okay. Uh, oh, you can't bloop Yurden in chat. Remind me after this is over to start putting that onto your character sheet because we never put that on your character sheet. Yeah. Like while we're doing the after show, remind me. I could do it during the after show. I'll half pay attention while you guys are blabbering and I will start typing that on there because it's like session like three and we don't have it done yet. Um, so anyways, the um, the you guys actually, that's kind of what they look like, Wade, just with big thick necks um, with gobble gobbles. Um, anyway, so oh, you guys gobble, start gobbles. just going, Rena. So you're saying you're casting Yurden and you go, right? Mm -hmm. So cool. Uh, what's the phrasing of Yurden for me? So uh, place a fixed magical ward in a 10 foot diameter circle around you. It's That's disturbing as hell, Wade. To most, uh, or to normal senses and lasts for as long as you concentrate on it, up to a minute. And, it, um, and then this one that we decided on was a uh, magic ward. Monsters normally resistant to non-magical weapons can be affected normally within the area of the ward, and they treat the area within the ward as difficult terrain. So that's a great thing for trying to like slow them down, keep them back, whatever it might be. And Rita, this yeah. is just a normal casting. It's just like, dit, 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 dit. it's not like you have to like, right? Yeah, cool. yeah. So so you you kind of like, you, you say to them, they're there, 
let's go. And then they can see you kind of like doing your sign and dropping all of a sudden. This is the first time they see you do it. So would you mm -hmm. like to describe what that looks like, assuming you have seen it done before? I have not. Messi, would you like to describe what it looks like? Because I know you're the, uh, the super fan. Wow. Okay, cool. So uh, you do a couple of signs and as you do a couple of signs, uh, you actually, uh, all, all of a sudden you guys see that as uh, uh, she's doing a couple of signs, uh, uh, literally a few glowing runes appear around her, like literally around her, elevated above the ground where she is. But then as she kind of like finishes doing the sign, uh, the signs with her hand I was saying, you see they're just kind of like, they hit the ground. Uh, they come down and like smack into the ground. There's no actual sound effect or vibrations or anything. It doesn't actually kick up dust, but it comes out with such an amount of force and it has like a, almost like a rippling effect of the uh, the images that you see when it hits the ground. You would imagine if it was a physical thing as opposed to magical, metaphysical, whatever, it really would have had like a doof to it. Anyways, those stay onto the ground and even though she continues riding on, it even goes like, yeah, to move quicker, um, they, the that actually stays there. Um, that does trigger and does affect some of them, but some of them are outside of where that is. And so they immediately start like reacting to this and start like clawing up out of the ground and going to attack at the horses and you guys, blah, 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 blah. I just need, in theory, one simple check from each of you to get out of here, no harm. Could all of you roll me a handle animal check or animal handling, whatever it's called? Um, before we do that, can I try to enthrall them? Uh, yeah, that would require time. Do you share a language with them, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So enthrall, like you have to like, okay, now that I see them, I'm going to cast a spell. But, but at the time, like they're literally bursting up out of the ground, attacking as you're picking up speed at, at her behest. Prior to that, you couldn't even see them. You didn't, couldn't perceive them. <gasps> Wade, would you like to modify that? Hey, Embarazza. All right. So let's go. <laughs> Come on, Pat. No Come on, Pat. No! Oh, no! <laughs> so, Pat, oh, when you fail God. miserably, you turn and try to enthrall them. So this is what happens as uh, all of a sudden uh, she does that. She like does a lean down. I will down, say enthrall doesn't, doesn't say I need to be able to talk to them. I just need to be able to see them. They need to be able to hear me. So. I will I will double check the rules of the spell in two seconds. There you so, go. Thank you. So you reach she reaches down, she pops well, up. Well, that's my thing, is I probably would stop moving if I can enthrall them. I probably wouldn't continue. But, but go you, ahead. your first hold on, your first words before I said they popped out of the ground were I'm just gonna follow where she goes. So when she goes kya and gets me. out of there, you're following after, right? And then they pop up out of the ground as you guys are doing that, and that's what triggered the handle animal as opposed to just succeeding, right? Um, so anyways, that being said, um, uh, Rena reaches down, uh, feels it, reaches up, says words very quickly, immediately does signs, dropping the thing and goes, uh, chasing off immediately. She goes, takes off. She's like kicking the horse into full speed. Um, uh, you can actually see that. What the hell's his name? Uh, and bear also immediately kicks the horse into, uh, to full speed to get out of there. You see Derb is like, let's go pony. Let's, uh, let's do this. And, uh, immediately starts trying to get the, uh, the, the thing moving quicker. Um, it's it's reacting. <laughs> um, Three out of four rolls were crits there. That's kind of crazy. It's reacting, but um, I, I uh, luckily for you, as much as you might be on um, tasty treat, um, you're actually no longer concerned because as uh, Dorian goes to kick the horse to uh, to make it uh, go, the horse actually uh, un unfortunately reacts negatively, and when he kicks it, he kicks it in the wrong spot, and the horse is like. Wah! like kicks up and actually goes to throw him off the back. Natty one, he gets thrown off the back of the horse and lands. Cool. Again, universal speech, unsettling words, enthrall. Yep. So as he lands cool. on the ground and they start <laughs> popping up to go attack the horses and said they have a, a more preferable meal, a tasty treat right there that's smaller, easier to get right on the ground. So immediately Dorian, um, seeing this, the shitty situation he is, he kind of like rolls over, pushes himself up, and even while still like pushing himself up on his knees, he immediately starts chanting his words to uh, to cast and thrall. I'm going to read this at this point to confirm that Matt Pat's uh, technique can work. You have gained the ability to make your speech intelligible one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Because uh, that might require, I don't know if any of these require actions, so. Um, you weave a distracting Unseason. string of words, causing creatures of your choice Just that can seem hour. enraged to make a wisdom check. Any creature uh, that can't be charmed uh, succeeds in the saving throw automatically. Uh, or if you're fighting it, have advantage, failed saving throw, da, 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 spell ends no longer. 
Fine. So it says nothing about the intelligence of the creature or anything like that. So you should be fine there. Unsettling words. I know what that does. Universal speech. You've gained the ability. Well, that part doesn't really matter. But it says as an action, choose one or more creatures within 60 feet of you. So universal speech wouldn't work because you're already using your action to cast a spell. But that doesn't matter because enthrall doesn't require them to understand the words that you're doing. So um, I was just going to say if, they, if it was a creature that needed to be understanding or whatever, I have that that I could use. Okay, cool. Um, so you are, they're going to, you're going to cast Enthrall on these, on these uh, creatures. So um, you kind of lean up and cast Enthrall. If you do Unsettling Words, you're going to choose one creature. Now, as was previously rolled, there were nine of them. But of those nine, uh, a number of them were actually caught inside Rena's trap because of like, So they're just they're a little chasing. slower behind, yeah? Correct. Now, what right. I'm going to allow you to do, Pat, because um, I, I don't want to be too mean to you here. Um, you can choose somebody in chat to, uh, to, to roll. Um, uh, a d10 to see how many of them are caught inside of arenas. Uh, vid, go for it. Hey, Vid, we like Vid. Aw, oh, wait, that's the cutest I've ever seen you, Wade. If Vid doesn't get to it, then Tyler can. No, Vid's here. So, two. Okay, and Tyler, could you go ahead and roll as well? Hey, that would be all of them. Um, so, so anyways, we'll take an average of those two. So 11 divided by two is five and a half. Five of them are will be caught inside Arena's thing, meaning four of them are there rushing forward to attack you. It's safe to say that one of them would easily be oh. going after Dur Derb because Derb is, um, uh, you know, uh, wasn't moving very quickly either. And the other three would be going after you. So that being said, three are going after you. I imagine you'd want to use unsettling words on the one that's closest to you to make sure that. How far away is her trap? Far, yeah. Oh, uh, actually, so you started like kicking, moving ahead, but it's actually not too terribly far behind you. It's uh, probably about, uh, well, no, she was in front of you, right? Because she was the one that was first. So yeah, as you were riding past the trap, um, uh, are they within 60 feet? Would it not capture? Oh, and they're underground. So it's just a matter of them uh, okay. being able that's, to pop up, fair. right? Yeah, that's fair. So, um, so uh, her trap would actually be ahead of where you are because as you kick the thing, you fell off. So it's actually probably a good 15 feet ahead of you, but that's fine. So, um, I imagine using unsettling words immediately on the one that's closest, correct? The, the closest, yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and bloop that for me, and then I'm going to make my rolls. So one that thing... That was my last inspiration, I believe, right? Because we didn't rest between going into her house. We haven't <sighs> rested in a while. I mean, short yeah. rests, sure, but not long rests. So that right. being said, um, uh, the necks or neckers... Well, for short rest, would I have at least my inspiration back? I wouldn't have my lucky dice back, but... Inspiration only comes back with short rest. I think it's only long rest. Confirm with your character sheet. Yeah, so the necks or or neckers as they are, uh, they're actually um, uh, fey creatures, um, and these creatures have something called fey resilience. So actually have uh, advantage in saving throws against certain things, um, including being charmed. So I actually get to roll um, two d twenty, keep higher one. Plus my resistance is. Um, um, and so this is going to be the first one. The first one, which is the closest one, gets a minus six from this. Okay. So minus six is a, uh, a 12. I actually fail. Okay. So kudos, Pat. That was actually a really good roll. Um, the second one is right here. Wow. Okay. Two fails. Ah, oh, so close. So close. So out of the three that go to attack you, you actually successfully uh, uh, charm, charm three. Uh, two of them. Two out of the three. Uh, oh, actually, and, oh, hold on. And the one that's attacking Wade, too. Uh, let's see if we can uh, roll for him as well. Why didn't I Why didn't I get the third one? It's an 18. They're all 18. Oh, I forgot. The six doesn't work on everyone. And the one attacking Wade. Oh, the one attacking Wade, because it looks like a 17. That's because it got bumped afterwards. But um, So the one attacking Wade is also charmed. So Wade, you're safe. Hey. So uh, uh, as they are rushing forward to attack you immediately, as you said before, and kind of like roll up and you're literally still on your knees finishing the spell and kind of like standing up uh, with a degree of like panache, uh, standing up, fully bring them under your, your your spell. So they're like just enthralled by you. There's like, it's like, they obviously like looking at you, a little, you know, distracted by what you are. 
Uh, now, it is important to note that Neckers do actually speak uh, 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 languages. They are not unintelligent, as um, the Witcher would know, but obviously Dorian would not know. So the fact that they can speak and what they speak, you do not know. But okay. uh, you can kind of assume that they have a language because, you know, they seem to fall pretty easily under your spell. As I spit on a microphone. So okay. that being said, um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I suppose at this point, roll initiative. And let's see if your friends just leave you behind. Uh, your horse, by the way, is um, if you want to find out how far away your horse is, it's going to be um, uh, 10 times what the next person in chat you call out rolls us for feet. Tyler, go for it. But 10 times the Tyler rolls. Cool. Um, oh, nice. Let's see, how do I? D10. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, D10. D10. I didn't say that. Thank you. Sick. Oh, Pat. Oh, my God. That's that's actually genuinely amazing. That's incredible. So 80 feet away. That's ridiculous. I get another bonus action, don't I? Uh, yeah, you know, you get another uh, action, 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 action. You get two actions. Yeah, uh, an initiative for these creatures is a plus one. So, yeah, uh, uh, Derb, it's also pertinent for everybody else to roll their initiative. So if you all want to click your mini and... Tyler roll. rolled me an eight. Yeah, which is 80 feet is how far away your horse went, ran. That's actually not necessarily bad either, because if it's further away from the danger, it's less likely to be still freaking out. So yeah, don't worry, moving as slow as possible over here. It's out of danger. That's all that matters. I imagine Bear is going to roll as well at some point, but uh, you're clearly going first, Pat. So please, what do you do? Is there's one like uh, not even? It's maybe 15 feet away from you. As uh, um, you can tell that these others are like, Arr! and this one is not uh, uh, enthralled by your uh, charm. Um, I'm going to use a new attack. They wear loincloths. That's all they wear is loincloths for clothing. Does this sound like fun, Scott? Should we use a new attack? I mean, I think you should do whatever you would like to do, my friend. I think a new attack would be fun. Sure, you have two actions, so have fun with it, sir. Um... Are the other creatures within 30 feet? I can't see them. Never mind. Uh, uh, you know that they're the, underground. So I wouldn't know exactly. Are, but the ones okay. that are enthralled are, are definitely within 30 but feet. But they're yep. my friends right now. Yeah, well, they're enthralled. Yeah. They're my friends. They're not attacking me. They just think you're sexy. Yeah. I mean, you see Ragumi's picture of me? I mean, I, I'm pretty sexy. I'm going to use a new attack. I'm going to use Mind Thrust. And I'm going to use it on the one that, that is not in Charmed. Okay. So Mind Thrust, bonus action, so that you actually still have two actions after this. I still this. have two actions, right? That's why I'm using this first. All right, cool. So you propel a lance <laughs> of energy forward to the mind of one creature. They have to make an intelligence saving throw. Uh, yeah, they definitely don't have advantage on this. Wait, wait, hold on. It's enchantment, so hold on. Nope, they definitely don't have, they don't have advantage on this. Um, and you cast this at level two. Yeah, it I, is a level two. Yeah, I think that's why you... when I checked it said that this is a level two. I'm not chance. I'm not doing it higher. Okay, cool. That's what I was checking. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I have to if I did it. Level, if I did level two, then that would be an additional creature, which I can't see any besides the ones that I've befriended. So. Oh, I thought it might be doing more damage. I see what you're saying. Cool. I'm rolling my intelligence. I, just, I think I just target another creature. Gotcha. I'm rolling my intelligence. Yeah, that's roll your damage, sir. By the way, the you can only dash and disengage on its next turn. Yep, which means it needs to run away. This is a great spell because of what it is that y your party does to people. Somebody needs to get Booming Blade. Just to, like make it even more intense. That booby Blade? Did that Booth work correctly? One. What? I did work. You did 3d6 damage. Can you imagine Booby Blades? This sounds terrible. So you did 10 points of damage to this thing, which is not a small 10 amount points of, damage. of psychic damage, but yeah. Yep, correct. Which is my point is not to damage it. My point is just to get it the fuck off. Yep. <laughs> um, so as your bonus action, you do that, still allowing you to move up to thirty feet. Well, and I'm have... still I'm I'm on the ground still, right? Or have I dusted myself off? I'm we standing. were saying that as you were standing up, you were able to kind of like do this, yeah. Same. As they were closing in on you. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Um. Mm, man, I really want to curse one of the charmed ones. Would that be mean? <laughs> I mean. It, it, Does if, that break it, the charm? It would break the charm, yeah. Actually, it would break the charm in theory for all of them. Oh, you would attack it? Okay. them. Mm -hmm. Um, 
to command them would that be technically an action um uh, i mean command is it a spell no, no, I just want the ones that are charmed to like fuck off and go away. So, so the, you actually, um, all that happens on a field saving throw, um, uh, the target is at a disadvantage uh, to perceive any creature uh, other than you until the spell ends and they can no longer hear you. I mean, so uh, they, I guess they would just not, run back, huh? Yeah, they're not listening to to your commands. Hmm. I'm just going to ask them to protect me then because they, they can they understand. They're what? not they're not taking any of your commands. They're just enthralled by you. But they're not yeah, taking your commands. Yeah. Sure. Those are different spells. I see. Um I don't know if I can do anything else. Do I take any damage when I fall off the horse, brother? No, no, no. It's 5e. Right. You just poop and you get it back anyways. I'm trying to think of this as fairly as I would be able to because I don't think I, like, I know Atalia screwed up the ground in front of me, but I don't know how many are under there. Like, Dorian would not know how many are under there. He would have no idea. So, nor would I think that anybody's under there. I just know these guys popped out under the ground. Um, I can't use another bonus action, can I? No, no more bonus actions. You have uh, your move. Just a regular and, action. And two regular actions. Yep. And you move uh, up to thirty feet, which each of those actions, if you wanted to. Can I move up to Derb? Because he's just behind me, right? Yeah, he's he's at, Dur Derb's like a little bit ahead of. Well, he's run up ahead of you by a good bit. Um, uh, I'd yeah, probably Derb's rejoin him, and as I'm rejoining him, I'm going to summon my face spirit. Okay, cool. So you within the thirty feet movement, you'd be able to get up to Derb. And I'm going to summon it in between my thrall, and. The distance between me and the enchanted thrall so it's in between it's kind of between in the middle you of you and the uh the creatures that you just enthralled correct, gotcha correct. cool so you um uh, is, that's not a concentration spell is it no doesn't say it was it just as a casting time as an action uh we'd have to double check that i, th I feel like it is a concentration I'll, I'll check spell. it right now yeah because that may just not have been copied over from where you got it from i believe it is and enthrall is also a concentration that's why it matters Up to an hour. Concentration yeah. up to an hour? Yeah. So that yeah. means you, it would cancel your enthrall to summon the thing. Actually, enthrall does not say... No, enthrall is just duration one minute. You actually can have both. My apologies. Wow, we'd have lied to us before. I'm looking at different, different things. Cool. So okay. yeah, I guess I would just summon it. So as um, soon as you push yourself up off the ground, you cast and throw on all of them, and you see it doesn't work on one of them, you immediately kind of give them a sharp look, and all of a sudden you just like this launch a mind spike into their brain, just the hard look that you give them. Um, seeing an opportunity... I they, give it blue steel. Knowing that they're going to... Uh, <laughs> Is the fake that they're concentration? Gonna, Where does it say concentration on that? It, it, it says it in where he pulled that copy oh, and pasted okay, that from, yeah. You. It just needs to be adjusted on his character sheet. But anyways, so um, in, in uh, seeing that that worked, and they're definitely, it, it affected them. They're going to turn and flee. It gives you an opportunity to turn and run yourself up to like where the um, the spell happens to be in place that Rena had dropped down to the ground over to where Derb is. Uh, as you're making your way over there, throwing out another spell and dropping the fake creature halfway between where you were and where you are. And you still have one more action left, technically, though you can't cast any more spells. Can uh, I just ready myself? Yeah, yeah, you can prepare an action. What do you want to prepare it for? Um, I can't prepare like a dissonant whispers, can I? Um, it would have to happen next turn. You've already cast too many spells this turn. That's what I'm saying. Can I just prepare a spell? I mean, because I can't like, throw my loot at it or something. Like, I don't know. You you, you could prepare to um uh, to cast a spell if some if a creature approaches you or something like that. That's fine. Okay. That's um. Fine. Uh. But it would have to be at next initiative. When when, when my trigger. next initiative. Yeah. That's fine. Either way, so it's Telia's turn. I tell you. Fuck. Um, can I circle back around to where uh, Dorian is? Uh, you, you would have to slow down because you perfectly handled your animal. So, uh, yeah, off there. Maybe that and continues like, and I slow my horse down. Little dune. Have you ever ridden a horse, Rena? Yes, it's hard to slow down a horse. I understand. Yeah. 
So, you know, you continue moving forward while you're slowly slowing down your yeah, horse. Yeah, you rolled a 90 20. You have no control. No, I'm going to I'm gonna stop my horse. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait. Like, yeah. uh, the thing does a uh, does a flip kick. The thing does a flip kick as she's Oh, it's uh, riding. Right, riding a skateboard. It kick flips. Yeah. Uh, well, kick, a flip kick is a I'll swimming. pull back. Never mind. I pull back on the reins to stop my horse. Mm hmm. To try to turn yeah, it on. I'm its aware, heads. but a kick, a horse flip, a horse doing a kick flip is mildly more entertaining in my tiny brain. And Rena, it's not like it's just, it's not like you're on like a, a, a narrow, like something's like buildings back. around you. You can turn the thing with a wide radius and start running it back the other direction. Yeah. So, Tyler, this is for you. So you do that, but you know, you don't get there yet. Um, That's unfortunately your turn because, you know, and bear. Why is she turning around? Oh, shit. What do you do? Messi hasn't spoken in like two hours. You know he's just gonna keep writing. That's what it is, because his character doesn't remember us. So he's like, "Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> Time to escape." But it's one a.m., so verbal uh, confirmation would be nice. Uh, does he look like he's doing okay? From what? Well, like, should I roll perception to see if I could see if he's doing okay? Uh, with disadvantage. Great. You're you're you're, you're, you're whipping backwards while riding hard. Yeah. You whip your hair back and forth. You whip it. No, you don't right. notice. So I saw he's not there. Or what? you see him, you just can't tell what can what, like what's going on. There's just you're jostled it's too much, and you're trying to like look back. And do I see his horse running off? Uh, you, that happened already. It's already off. Can I? Can I go get his horse? Yeah, you want to slow down to go recollect his horse? Yeah. So funny enough, his horse actually ran rid, rid ahead. After kicked him off and continue riding ahead because horses are herd animals, so they tend to try to stick together. So it actually yeah. rid ahead to be close to where you are. So you can actually slow down, kind of turn around, and next turn you'll be able to click the horse, no problem. Cool, that's cool. you. Back to uh, the monsters. Hey, you ready for what they do? Well, a bunch of them are trapped. Uh, and then there's three of them that are enthralled. And so they just walk closer to uh, uh, Dorian, but they walk closer to him like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, you know, to see what what, they, what he's doing because they're so enthralled by him, to see like what it is that he's doing. They just really want to like investigate the situation further, see why he's over there. What is it? What is he doing? What's so like? Why is he so fascinating? Something is fascinating about this man. I wonder if it's high cheekbones or that ass, but something is fascinating about this man. Would Would my Fay get to go right after I did? Oh, only if you wanted it to attack. But if it did, I was gonna say. I you, forgot that that happened. But if it attacks, then it would trigger them to no longer be safe. Well, no, I was going to attack the one that's far out, but that's not a big deal. Um, and so it's not a big deal. But. And then that one creature that you did your attack on before, it dives back into the ground, and you can see it turns around. It takes like three or four steps, dives into the ground, and borrows away from you because <laughs> you know your spell worked. So you prepare an action for. Oh, don't worry, none of them attack you. They're either being held by Rena's spell or enthralled by yours at the moment. Derb, it's your turn. Uh, as I'm, as I'm, I as... ride. So he comes running up to you, and as he runs up to you, you're like, he's got this. Oh, did he come up to me like he needs? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I ran up to you. I would just say I have them enthralled for the moment. Oh. Uh... I fear if they're attacked at all, it will break the charm. I can see that um, Embear's kind of wrangled his horse up ahead, right? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, you can see Embarrass going over to the horse. He's about to, he's about to grab at it. Yeah. You'd see me, like, heading back towards you guys, too. Mm -hmm. Drawing the sword. Shink. Well, actually, uh, that wasn't my plan. I was just gonna go straight for Dorian, and then, uh... Sorry, was... wrong sword. That's on my turn. Shink. <laughs> go ahead. Derp, what do you do? Uh, I guess nothing at the moment. I'll sit here with Dorian and uh, I see. I guess I see the Witcher coming back over. So I guess I just kind of like wait with him or I, I move with him. Like, I guess I move at his pace up toward where Embear's got his horse. So you're assuming that Dorian is going to start jogging away from the area. Dorian, is that is that in play for what you'd want to do? Start removing yourself from the situation? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to okay, cool. Well, the Witcher said and... like, Go. So then, so the plan then, was for me to go. This all being said, you guys can kind of like uh, uh, hang behind Dorian, allowing a degree of cover 
for Dorian as the the, the uh, necks are falling. You're making me super self-conscious about that name now because you guys are all reacted so aggressively to it. It's just... I don't think we can crack the, 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 We didn't... It's, it's just... They're the oh. necks. I'm like, this is a widely popular game that won a ton of awards. 100% <laughs> believe you, dude. I didn't write the game or the books I'm or the TV show. Did. Or, or the other TV show. <sighs> Anyways, so um, the, uh, the uh, creatures are still kind of following after. Like, uh, but either way, so as they're kind of like slowly following after, but not aggressively, just kind of like enthralled, they will occasionally look at um, uh, either Atelia or Derb and say really cruel things in their language. Um, but either way, um, they continue uh, uh, following after you in a non-aggressive way. Uh, more of a curiosity, kind of like, a, a imagine something like, checking out from like the, you know, just trying to see what the hell is going on. And once again, dad ass. So, um, uh, Dorian, you're eventually going to be able to get it to where Bear has the horse wrangled. Y'all able to get onto the horses. And that's that. I mean, I, I, my, it's almost anticlimactic, but your characters are just awesome. So, you know, yeah. you get back on your horses and you're like, uh, yeah. I guess as we're like riding off, I would ask Ooh. the witcher, like, is uh, that something we're going to have to take care of eventually? Good Witcher question. They seem to only uh, um, attack people when provoked. Good enough for me. <laughs> Rena, you rolled a 23 on your check. Uh, mm -hmm. These creatures are evil little fucks. Um, they are going. They, they they are going to take an opportunity to take advantage of things. They will attack wagons and uh, kill the people inside them, take, ferreting away things that they find interesting. From inside. they are not, they are not good creatures. They are definitely bad creatures. But luckily, these aren't creatures that require things like say um, uh, silver necessarily to kill. Right. So that being said, this is something that actually the the, the guards the of the region. I don't think they're hard to kill. They're easier to take care of. Yeah, yeah this is not really something for me. The hired people, the military can't take care of. No, no, no. This is definitely something for a witch. No, I meant like right <laughs> now. <laughs> but yeah, it's also something that a regular person could fight and kill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, vid your failure. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, so you, uh, um, yeah, you easily can kind of like remove yourself from the scenario. And you guys are able to, to ride off into the sunset. Now we were going to um, approach the... <sighs> we're finally at... The point where the story is going to get, I feel like what we need to do, because at the end of the session is when like all of a sudden like the snap cam comes on and everybody's like goofy and whatnot. We should like go like a, open the session each week with like a hard hour of just like good RP. Maybe like a 20 minute podcast, like a hard hour of RP and then allow it to teeter off from there. No, yeah. hard all the way, hard all the way. If it lasts more than four to six hours. We're doing it right. what he said so uh reno what you been up to lately just pokemon actually uh we're on our second run <laughs> which is <laughs> does that mean the first run went really well and you beat it already mm -hmm. yeah we, that's, see uh, the, yeah. The, the problem is we didn't really lose the first run my game just crashed as we were three hours in well and i lost and, our um, starters so yeah we lost like half our team and I was like, I have to restart, do all those fights again with half my team already. So we just decided to let chat decide whether we restarted the day or restarted the whole run. So we restarted the whole run because that's what they voted on. Um, and then I killed seven Pokemon today. <laughs> so we'll see what ends up going well, you on. You but killed it's seven well. Pokemon and this is yeah. not this is not Michael Vick the video game. Okay. Oh. <laughs> just me doing messy shit. Okay. Fine. We'll, be, we're, we'll be fine. We're leveling up our Pokemon. We're just, you know, about to take on the second gym. So, alive, you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So how does this work exactly? You guys are playing together, but how, like, if he they, loses something, do you so lose something? They capture yes. these animals and they train them to no. battle with other animals. And Don't if they do not me. successfully murder the other animals, or at least I, uh, maim them in such a way that okay, they can no longer fight. Grandpa, go back to the rocking you have chair. To I'm beat asking beat them people. until they die the, as proof to the others that the they need to perform because better. Because the way a normal Nuzlocke works, you go into an area, you get to catch one Pokemon there. Yes. So one of you catches it and one of you fails to catch the first one you run into, then what do you do? We don't get a Pokemon in that area. Neither one of you do? Neither one of us does. We have and then to if one of you lose one, you both lose one. Mm -hmm. And they're, and each route is linked. Yeah, so like those fucked. Pokemon no are like, linked together. Right, cool. We can do it? No. No, <laughs> I have zero totally yeah. faith in you. What? So our starters are linked. Whatever we catch on 201 is linked. 202 is linked. 203 is linked. So if she Wait, ends up getting something really least. good, like... Like yeah. it, my starter and her starter. Oh, if one of them dies, oh, they both so die. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what so not only are we watching Pokemon, our own games. Does that matter if you encounter different Pokemon? It do, do, doesn't matter. No, it your doesn't matter. Your first encounter is linked with the okay, other person's first encounter. But if your route 202 route. Pokemon dies, then her route 202 Pokemon dies. Yeah, are you gonna yes. do this with Molly? You should do it with Molly. What? Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, guys. Yeah, Thank I was you like, for Wade doesn't want to end his relationship. Jesus, that's terrible it's about stress. It's fun. Yeah. No, I uh. That sounds awful. To be fair, though, if either of you well, catch, just your opinion. If either of you catch a side duck, be great to watch. Please, awful to play. Could you please name it Mr. Wade for me? Uh, I caught a side, side duck. Too late. Yeah. I caught a side duck. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Come guess, on. Guess what happened to him today? Or, or like, or, and, if, and, if, and if you get a Mr. Mine, <laughs> no, guess, guess what happened to my Mr. side duck Barnes. today? Mr. Barnes. Yeah, what? Guess, guess what happened? He died. Oh well, they, He's dead. Wade. Yeah, he died. Rip also, you're thinking of Mr. Mime? No, you name Mr. Mime. Mr. Barnes. Oh, name him Mr. Mr. Barnes. Yeah. yeah. We can't I get a Mr. Mime get, in this generation. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, that sucks. No Mime. That sucks. I was no trying Mime? To... Breaks skateboard. <laughs> Breaks Pokeball. Damn it. <laughs> Breaks running yeah. shoes. So if you guys Wait, want, what? you know what? I could always start streaming playing Pokemon myself. That'd be fun. But except when I, when I play it, I'm going to role play the entire time. So it won't be like Dale Rick. It'd be like my character that I'm playing. Uh, uh, doing it, but I'm gonna be like, I'll probably name my character like Mike or something like that, and I'd be like, "All right, listen up, Pokemon, you're gonna do a good job." And I can just like role play the entire time how it is I like, go into these battles. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be great. Like, yeah, the whole thing. I'm so be confident. You convinced me almost. Yeah, it'd be, oh, it'd be lots of fun. It'd be fun. It'd be great. I. Great. No, it would. No, it come would on. It really would. You no, know, I know it. Yeah, I trust me. Yeah. yeah it's for. You know what? Maybe it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's going on. Great, you also, I made some good everything. progress in Dark Souls. So. Whoa, you made some progress in Dark Souls? Well, I've been making it's a lot of progress of in Dark Souls. Rena, I've known you for how many years and you've been playing Dark Souls that whole time? Listen, I'm almost done, okay? God. Wait, you've been playing the same Dark Souls game for how Two long? years. Wait, Listen, really? I did, I did go on a, huge, a really long hiatus, though. That's like, like, from it. Like, every week, that's terrible. You're awful, but that makes me feel better. Rita. I'm really, I'm really trash at Dark Souls. Let's be real. Two years. I mean, yeah, not the whole two years. Rita, I still love you. It's like several months in I, there that I, I didn't play. Okay. There's some games that you're excellent at. Like I love watching you play Splatoon. Okay. Like some games that you're actually genuinely good at. But Dark Souls, sometimes you just say, you know what? Hang up the towel. You know. It's like, I'm not. No, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna finish as it. As soon as she beats Dark Souls three, we get to play Bloodborne, which I'm way more excited about. So hurry the fuck up, Rena. I'm trying. She's gonna be just as bad at Bloodborne. Go I was Rita, but it's well, literally I was worse at Bloodborne because of the game. gun mechanic. I was really bad with the gun mechanic. The oh, gun crap. stuns. I was terrible. Yeah, Bloodborne's guns. different. I don't even know if I want a gun. I'm like, eh. I heard well, there's only like did. one weapon that's like a gun. Not everyone had a gun in Bloodborne. Every, oh, everyone gets a gun. Everyone gets a gun. Oh, it's like America. You get a gun. You get a gun. You get a gun. That's There's topical. one shield in the game, Messy. and it's really Talk bad. Talk about other things. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you guys see the election last year? All right. That's topical. <laughs> Patrick. Uh, my name is Jeff. Know? Thank you. <laughs> you guys know there's election next year? Rena, you're you know, up again. Up I don't you know guys any see more the Olympics? to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys know the Olympics is coming up? Never heard of it. 
Are we getting like two Olympics in one year or something like that? Not exactly, but the Olympics are renowned for being a great spreader of diseases, usually sexually Woo! transmitted ones, but certainly others as well. There are many pathogens that are spread very rapidly, uh, uh, quite virulently uh, throughout the, uh, uh, the what is it, Olympic Village. So, oh, you know, you're boring me. So, I mean, this is going to be a great year for the Olympics. Woo! You heard it here first. If you go to the Olympics, you get fucked. All right. Oh, well. And you bring us a souvenir home. <laughs> hey, honey, guess you what I got? <laughs> uh, and that's what we get rated on. Poor Perception Studio. Um, <laughs> they show up to us talking about <laughs> Olympic STDs. Uh, right. Well, you didn't need to anyway. fucking say it out. Said it anyway. Oh, yeah, thank Let you. Let say it again. Fine. Well, I'm not yeah. the one that brought it up. Rena did. I'm sorry. We're gonna roll a constitution <laughs> save to see if we dodged that bullet. Let's just let's just. Did we dodge the the. Did we dodge it? No, nope, that's a dex save that you need to roll to dodge. You gotta roll oh. a dex save. Hey, dude. Dex save. Dude, you walk away with only something easily resolved by taking a pill for a few days. All right. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Well, that's all the D and D the people just raided get. Um. Uh, yeah. We're actually but what if we get bed bugs? I, I, will, I, will, I will recap what we're doing for everybody else after Wade talks about what he's been up to lately. Oh, oh! tomorrow I'm playing the Lion King, like the old Sega Genesis <laughs> SNES Lion King game. I'll be streaming that. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, I've got it. Okay, so the Switch, they released the cartridge that has the, like, the original Aladdin yeah. and the, like, the OG Lion King on there. Oh, no, no, hold on. All jokes aside, I, I honestly don't remember the Lion King, but the original Aladdin is, like, one of my favorite ever Sega SNES Genesis games. or Genesis? Because they actually are two different games. No, Sega Genesis. I, uh, not That's what SNES. I played, too. No, that I'll game is SNES amazing. The SNES one is more of a platformer and less of, like, a fighting thing. I honestly never played the SNES. I, I, I had the Lion SNES, Lion King but... is supposedly, like, the same game, but apparently Aladdin, they rebuilt from the ground up. Yeah, no, l Very listen. Strange. Again, the Aladdin game is really good. Like, for the, for the time. Really good. Um... No, it's going to be awful. Awesome. Those games are pure pain and suffering. No, it was actually. Like, you think Dark Souls is bad? Go play like the original Lion King. You know, I've heard this several times. Apparently, when that original Lion King was the game was being made, Disney wanted them to make it really hard to beat because renting at Blockbuster was a thing back then, and they wanted people to not be able to beat the game when they rented it. They wanted them to have to go back and buy it in order to beat it. So they yeah. increased difficulty. You told the story yesterday, Grandpa. I don't oh, know actually, what Blockbuster I, is. I didn't hear. I didn't realize I was on Lost Initiative yesterday. Tell the story. Thank was, you for reminding me. I haven't heard this story, but wow, wow, messy. I see mm, where you went with well, that. You should spend more time with Grandpa. He tells that story a lot. Okay, listen. I'm gonna I do a picture story, of my right? ball wrinkles, messy. You deserve that. I, I, right, I as long as I can 3D map it. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look up. Is Just got a magical King map on, today. King on uh, Sega. No, it is worse than Dark Souls because you know what old games had? Continues that you ran. Out of. What Dark Souls oh. has a permanent checkpoint. Oh, I did play this game. I remember this. I remember my poor little Simba being like, Row. oh, yeah. yeah. Dark Souls, Demon Souls, those are hard games, but you get a checkpoint. Lion King and Aladdin, you die enough times, it's game over completely. Uh, I actually, I don't think I ever beat Lion King. No one ever did. No, I, I definitely remember beating Aladdin. I don't remember beating Lion King. So I just, I, I probably played on the Sega, though. I probably didn't play it on the SNES. As so. someone who's beaten Bloodborne, beaten all these fucking Dark Souls games, oh. I will tell you, I prefer having a stopping point and the ability to bring in help than being alone in the Lion King with limited lives. And, and if you're if you're international and you don't already know by now, uh, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, same thing. So if we're saying Genesis, you don't know what that is. It's the Mega Drive, but um, uh, international from America, right? Anyway, so uh, that's actually wicked cool. When did you say you're playing that? Tomorrow. Oh, cool. I, which one are you doing tomorrow? Uh, Lion King. I mean, unless I'm the so good, I beat it fast. They apparently added like a rewind feature where like in order to prevent you from having to just keep replaying the whole game, you can like rewind your mistakes. No, no, no! You're not playing Braid. No, this isn't fucking Prince of Persia. No rewind feature. You play it raw, Wade. You play I'm it raw. I'm glad this game I just told you about. You're setting the boundaries on how I play. Thank you. You're welcome. But I'm Sorry. playing that tomorrow. We have a on game we need to play at some point. Is that hmm? Raid Shadow Eleven? No. Okay, what is it? It's a game called It Takes Two. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I, good. I want to play that with Brittany, no, but she's that. terrible at video games, so I'll never. I think beat it. every person I know has poked me about that game at this point. I think Pat. Hey, wait, you want to play? Yeah, Messi, what do you want right now? Yes, let's go. 
I guess. I'll Did you guys see that Twitch banned 7.5 million bot accounts? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Today? A lot of people lost the chunk of followers that had any bot, bot followers. Oh, let me check. Uh... Yeah, see how many of your followers are bots. Everyone, quick, unfollow. <laughs> no, I, I'm still at 11 I don't even know how many followers here. I had, in all honesty, so I have no idea. Uh, I saw where a lot of like the top channels lost a lot of followers that were bot followers. Uh, Twitch, uh, lost initiative. Uh, I can yeah, look up your dailies. Uh, Dalric is yeah. untouched and lost issues. Oh, you're Sweet. up. You're up five today, actually. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, cool. Dog, yeah. No, no, no bots here. I, I don't got to pay for it. It just shows up. What? Even the bots hate D and D. Oh, ouch. Yay. Pat, what are you up to lately? What are you doing? What's exciting for you? Uh, I haven't been streaming lately. Oh. Uh, not all that lately. Um, but when I do, I've been playing a lot of new Isaac content. I've been playing some Outriders. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Well, I've been playing Outriders and, 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 and yeah. Isaac Newton. Gotcha. New Isaac, yeah. And I think most of the Raiders have already left by now, but if you're still sticking around, what you're welcome to, uh, uh, what we're playing here is, um, as you can probably see the stream title down below, uh, we're playing a Witcher campaign. It's set in 5e. Um, uh, what you'll more often than not find here is a, a very off-topic conversation about things that will probably make you blush. Um, uh, what can I say? Rena has a foul mouth. She is the most aggressive and inappropriate person here. You know but, what we found today hmm. that was really interesting? Uh-oh. Is that we all found we have very similar-looking grundles. So <laughs> maybe check yours and check with your friends and family and see if you guys also have similar There's a grundle grundles. out there for all of us somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a perfect match out there, they say. Find yours. I mean, Grundle.com. <laughs> only Grundle.com. Only Grundle style. Cool. You hate it as much as we do? No, you can't possibly. <laughs> it's important to know you may have your soulmate, but they're not necessarily the same as your Grundle mate. <laughs> so, just saying. Messi, hit me up. Um, yeah, of course, sir. And then I'm Delric, twitch.tv slash Delric from my, my, my other channel. So where I do lots of D&D &D that's way less off the topic than this. We're a lot more new You're campaign just started topic here more than anyone else this morning at 7 a.m est a new campaign started but anyways are you guys ready to go who are we reading who are we reading oh uh mm, i got man. somebody yep we're reading my friend all right reading. everyone say hi to my friend raid message is hi my friend raid message is not the one that you guys like saying because i do not like that message so scooter raid no nope, we're not doing that huh. i hate that mm. we thought it was a scooter raid all right, let's, no let's hi, my friend. Everyone Later, say hi, nerds. my friend. All right, everybody. Bye. Remember. All right, they gone. We out. Pa 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 Patreon.com slash Lost Initiative. $2 tier and up. OnlyFans.com. OnlyFans.com slash Tyfro if you like uh, Tyler's Bush. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.